So the the third talk of uh, this question uh, of this session, sorry, is on masking additive and multiplicative masking for probing secure polynomial evaluation methods. It's from uh, Axel Mathieu Ma Ma Mayas and Michael Quisquater, and Axel will give the talk. Okay, thank you. So hi, thank you for the introduction. So in this paper, we were interested in polynomial evaluation methods, which are uh, very relevant methods for masking when S-boxes can be represented as polynomials. And therefore, providing fast and secure methods, uh, in this case, results in efficient and secure masking schemes. So we do that using a mix of additive and multiplicative masking. Now, in the context of side channel analysis, information leak through the physical leakages of a running device because the data and physical leakages are dependent. Now, masking is a popular method that prevents this correlation by randomizing physical leakages. The kernel measure splits every sensitive variable into several shares and secures the, pro the processing of the shares through every internal operations. Now, when the kernel measure is applied with more than two shares, then the masking is said to be of higher order, which has been proved to be a sound kernel measure in several security models. Now, in our paper, we proved the security of all of our constructions in the probing model, which has been introduced by Ishai, Sai, and Wagner in 2003. In this model, an adversary has access to T intermediate variables and tries to recover any sensitive information from the set. And therefore, what we call T-probing security is achieved if any set of T observation is independent of every sensitive variables. Now, there are two important security notions concerning probing security. There are the TNI and the TSNI properties introduced by Bartonal in 2015. The TSNI property is very convenient since it allows transformations that satisfy this property to be composed safely, which is very convenient to make to prove probing security. Now, usually, uh, masking schemes uses additive masking. And what it means in practice is that every share has to be splitted into t plus one shares such that the sum of the shares is equal to the original value. Now, in this case, the processing of linear transformation is very efficient, while the processing of multiplication is much more expensive. Now, the first probing secure masking scheme that uses additive masking has been proposed by Rivain Proof in 2010. Their idea was to express the ASS box as a power function which rely on linear transformations and multiplications, namely square and multiplications. Now, their approach has been extended to the generic case by Carl in 2012. They proved that any NB test boxes can be represented as a polynomial function over a binary, over a binary finite field, which evaluation also rely on linear transformations and multiplication. And therefore, since multiplications are very costly to process in, in additive masking, several works have then tried to optimize the number of nonlinear multiplications that are involved in a polynomial evaluation method. Now, some other masking schemes use even other encodings, and some others can even use several encodings simultaneously. So this is the case of GPQ, which is a masking, a masking schemes for power function that has been introduced by Jeanne Lenal in 2011. This scheme mixes additive and multiplicative masking. Now, the idea is that linear transformations are very efficiently processed in additive masking, while mul multiplications are very efficiently processed in multiplicative masking. However, using a mix of additive and multiplicative masking comes at a cost. It requires to secure the processing of a Dirac function, because multiplicative masking is only defined for non-zero values. 
Then it also requires to secure, to provide secure transformations to switch from an additive into a multiplicative masking, and conversely. Those transformations are respectively called AM to MM and MM to AM. Now, if we take a closer look at how GPQ works to evaluate a power function, it first requires to compute the secure Dirac function in order to get a non-zero element before converting it into a multiplicative masking with the AM to MM transformation. Then it processes the power function very efficiently since a multiplicative masking is used. And finally, it, conver it converts back the power into an additive masking and removes the Dirac to obtain the desired power. Now, the first contribution in the article is that we have proved this scheme for power functions to actually satisfy the TSNE requirements. Now, since this scheme is one of the most efficient schemes for the AES, which is a power function, a natural question is how to extend GPQ to evaluate polynomials very efficiently. Of course, there are issues because adding monomials is not efficient in multiplicative masking and converting every monomials back into additive masking before adding them is also not efficient because the conversions AM to MM and MM to AM are very costly. Now we provide um, two TSNI proposals that achieve this goal and uses additive and multiplicative masking. The first me method is based on the cyclotomic method by Carl and Al in 2012. And the second one is based on our first proposal and on the CRV method proposed by Coron and Al in 2014. Now let's start by our first proposal, the alternate cyclotomic method, by a quick, by a quick reminder of the cyclotomic method. Basically, it relies on the notion of cyclotomic class, which is very convenient since every powers whose exponents lie in the same cyclotomic class can be derived very efficiently with squares only in additive masking. This is also very efficient. Now, therefore, every monomial of some polynomials can be split into several distinct sets. And by doing so, it is possible to express any n test box as the sum of some linearized polynomials whose monomials belong to a same cyclotomic class. However, the method still requires to derive at most, at least one power for each distinct, distinct linearized polynomials first. And it, this step is very expensive in additive masking. So our first proposal deal uh, with these steps using a multiplicative masking, and this is our alternate cyclotomic method. So it still requires to process the secure processing of a Dirac function in order to get a non-zero element. And then it computes the AM to MM transformation in order to get multiplicative masking. Then it processes one, uh, it evaluates one monomial per distinct, for each distinct linearized poly, uh, polynomials in, additive, in multiplicative masking, which is very, very efficient. Finally, it converts back those power and those powers only into an additive masking with several use of MM to AM transformation. And finally, it can evaluate the linearized polynomials whose monomials belong to the same cyclotomic class very efficiently since an additive masking is used. And the evaluation of S of X um, is completed only with linear processing using an additive masking. So the red ar uh, arrows on the figure shows that we only use a multiplicative masking to derive only a few set, uh, a set of few powers. And since the conversions are very costly, we only have a few transformations to compute, which is also very efficient. Now, we have proved that the alternate cyclotomic method is TSNI. We also have implemented our solution, our approach, and the original method directly in assembly language for 
8-bit architecture for S boxes of size 4 to 8 at practical orders 1, 2, and 3. And what the table shows here is that our proposal is more efficient, nearly three times faster than the original method for NV test boxes of size 5 to 8. Now let's move to our second proposal, the alternate CRV method, by a quick reminder of the original method proposed by Cohen in 2014. The idea of this method is to express any n box as sums of some as sums of products between polynomials, where the monomials of the PI and the QIs belong to a pre-computed set of powers whose exponents lie in a union set of L cyclotomic classes. Now, the evaluation is done in two steps. First, it requires to evaluate the QI and the PIs, which require L minus two multiplications. And in order to have at most L minus two multiplications to process this step, uh, the, set of, the union set of cyclotomic classes has to be chosen very, very carefully. Now, uh, it completes the evaluation of S of X with K minus one additional multiplications. So in this method, there is a trade-off between L, which is the number of cyclotomic classes from which the polynomials PI and QIs are generated, and k, which is the number of product between polynomials we need to do. Now, since our first proposal, the alternate cyclotomic method, evaluates polynomial very efficiently, we can evaluate the PI and the QI with it. Moreover, our method is TSNI. It has been proved to be TSNI, and therefore, it can be used inside the CRV construction very uh, safely. Right? And since our cyclotomic method outputs the evaluation of polynomial in an additive masking, therefore the evaluation of S of X is completed in additive masking, which is unchanged compared to the original method. Now, since we use our alternate cyclotomic method for the first step, um, we have more choice of cyclotomic classes and also, we can consider larger sets to, for the, the evaluation of the PI and the QIs. And by doing so, we were able to derive new parameters, um, which improves even more the performances of our solution. We also have proved that the alternate CRV method is TSNI. Now, re regarding the performances, we also did some implementation directly in assembly language for 8-bit architecture. And uh, the performances are done for n-bit S-boxes of size 4 to 8, like for the alternate cyclotomic method, at orders 1, 2, and 3. And what the table shows now is that our proposal is more efficient than the original one, by nearly 30% for S boxes of size 5 to 8. Now, to summarize our contribution, we have proved that the GPQ scheme actually satisfies the stronger property in the probing model, which is the TSNI requirement. We have also extended GPQ, power function masking schemes, to evaluate polynomial functions which results in an alternate cyclotomic method, which is three times faster than the original one. And this method satisfies the TSNI property and therefore can be safely plugged into another larger construction, which is the CRV met method. And it results in an alternate CRV method, which outperforms the original for most scenarios we addressed. We also uh, proved that our second proposal satisfied the TSNI property. Thanks for your attention. Thank you. We have time for questions. Thank you for the talk.
Um, can you comment on how you perform the secure evaluation of the direct function at higher orders uh, uh, with efficiency? Yeah, we did uh, implement it that using bit slicing, which is a bit tricky because uh, this is not you, you cannot do you cannot perform a secure Dirac function without bit slicing very efficiently. So we had to do bit slicing. Okay, thank you. Any other question? So let's thank the speaker again.